Hello. Welcome to Color All the Things with me, Melissa. Um, still working in Jewelry Box by Hannah Carlson. Um, I've got so much going on next week that I will not uh, be able to do any live streams. So I'm kind of recording as I can get around to it. I want to finish up this picture, maybe work on something else. We'll see what we can get done. Um, uh, if you notice, there's a I have a light on over here. So I was uh, I was gonna record as I can. It is nighttime out. There is a light on over here. There's a light on up here. Um, so we will just get to this. As you can see, I'm nearly, nearly finished. I have some of the purple flowers down here. The rest of the hanging flowers. Um, somebody was asking me where the spider is. The spider's right here. She's just this little thing hanging. It's right there. Um, so I've just got that to go. And then um, we'll get it all set up when we turn off autofocus here. Sorry. There we go. Get zoomed in. Move this out of the way here so we can get this nice corner set up. Right. So the colors I'm using again, and they will be in the description down below, are Dioxazine Purple, uh, PC132, Imperial Purple, or I'm sorry, Imperial Violet, PC1007, Blue Violet Lake, PC1079, Black, 935, and White, 938. Um, those are the colors I'm using. I added the white from the last time. If you've seen the other, I will link to the other uh, two streams in one video down in the description down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you would, please. That greatly helps the channel. Um, so I've already put a layer of the Dioxazine Purple down. Now I'm going to take my Imperial Violet I hope everybody's having a good day if you're in the day I hope you're having a good night if it's a night I'm just recording, hon Well, I know you're recording, that's why I don't want to start yelling at the cat What's the cat doing? Up on the island. Oh well, that's good. Thank you. So, blue violet lake, and then it's just the same color combos as it was up before, except for I added white. And I'll show you that. I'm really enjoying this piece. It's been super fun. Makes me want to watercolor the backgrounds of more pictures. It wasn't the easiest thing to do, but it did turn out amazing, I think. I think it really gives some character to this piece. Again, the background um, is in the description, everything I used, um, but it was the lunar blue from Daniel Smith watercolors. It has a nice um, gradation and granulation and it shifts from blue to black. Um, so the, the water, the colors actually separate some and it's blacker in some parts, bluer in others. So it's really cool, kind of like a dual tone color. Uh, let's see, that was the black. This is, I want dioxazine. So I had family in town last two days. So that was fun. Went out to eat tonight. Got a cute little family picture. 
nice little lady uh, walked up and said, you look like you need somebody to take your picture. <laughs> so she did. It was very nice. She said she was a photographer. Pretty sure she was down in the pavilion uh, for a wedding photographer. And the girls are had their pre-birthday. They're gonna have like three or four birthdays. It's gonna be ridiculous. Is she getting up on it again? Uh -huh. no. Is there something up there? there well, move move the cupcakes to the other. Yeah, so we had cupcakes today for one birthday, and then we'll have cupcakes on their actual birthday. Their birthdays are five days apart, and then we'll have no. cupcakes on their birthday party, and yes. it's going to be ridiculous. Did you move the cupcakes? No. Well, moving the cupcakes cat with water and then put the thing of water right at the edge where she'll try to jump up. Okay. And Zoe was disappointed she didn't get a real unicorn. Let's see. So that was the white. That's all I'm doing. I'm just giving just a little lighter, a little more dramatic. Just one by one, just knocking it out. We're all in a bit of a food coma from dinner. I'm still full. It's 9.30. Hi, pumpkin pie. No, I'm not playing with the balloon. I'm recording, honey. she was doing. She's making some sort of kissy face. She wants to play catch constantly right now. So I'm thinking I might do is just go for a while tonight. And then pick it back up in the morning. I'll just pause my video. Hopefully I won't lose any of it. Um, you never know. I'll just pause my video. And pick it up in the morning. It'll be no time to you. Might be a little bit of a jarring light lighting change. Zoe, don't do that, honey. So that's what I might end up doing. Get a nice, decent-sized video out of it. Give you guys something. Hopefully I can have it finished in this kind of stream set, or not stream session, but video session. There is a little bit of issue with the paper in some spots where it's like there's an indentation of some kind. 
really all I do with that is I go to the edge of my pencil and just kind of get in the groove with it and it just kind of melts away especially with the Prismacolors I'm hoping to finish this for you guys fairly soon well, I'm hoping to finish it for myself mostly, but I'm sure you guys are interested too. <laughs> Excuse me, like I said, I am still full. Got a lovely glass of Moscato. With dinner. Back to the dioxazine, just into the corners here where it's a little harder those edges this is imperial violet and then blue violet lake go up and do this one here well it's just right there. A little bit of black. Just to darken up those little center parts. Back to the dioxazine. Uh, Imperial Violet. I'm sure the Imperial Violet would come up a little bit here. And then Blue Violet Lake. And White. So nearly done, nearly done. Not too much more. You know, you know what, let's go ahead and do this right here too. And this is why I have problems with uh, lettering rubbing off. So I stick Stick them in my hands just like this and flip back and forth. I haven't heard back from Arteza. About too much. I did, oh, I did get my Lyra pencils. Um, the replacements, I don't know if uh, you guys remember, but back when I was playing with my Lyra's. I was sharpening the cream and another yellow. And um, the oh, a good inch, inch and a half of lead just pulled out of the barrel. I ended up taking some Aileen's tacky glue, putting some at the end and stuffing it back in there and holding it down. Um, but there was also like a giant crack down the side and I sent pictures to, um, Lyra back in February, Lyra Rembrandt. And, uh, they were like, oh, you know, sorry about that. That looks like there's a flaw in, in, in those pencil and the, uh, wood casing. We'll send you replacements. What's your address? So I gave him my address. And uh, I think it was May asked, uh, not last stream, stream before, um, if I had heard anything from Liar, if I'd gotten my pencils. I was like, no, you know what? I haven't. So I, I got back into my email and I sent it back to the to the lady. 
I said, you know, hey, I saw I received those replacement emails, oh, um, or replacement pencils, and oh, by the way, I've moved, here's my new address. Well, it turns out the lady that I had been in contact with no longer worked there, um, which was unfortunate, but you know. But the other lady, she sent them out right away, and I got them within the week. And they didn't send one, but they sent two of each. So now I have like four creams and three of the other yellow. I'm just like, what am I supposed to do with this? But, you know, at least they came finally. But the lady, the new lady I was in contact with, she was like, well, you know, I made sure to, to send those images to our uh, QC department or whatever to see if they can figure out how those got through, which you know, there's sometimes there's no way to know that there's a flaw with the pencil lead or pencil barrel until you go to sharpen it. And they're not going to sit and... Because the way they pre-sharpen pencils in manufacturing, it's just rolled along a piece of sandpaper. They're not actually, like, twisting it in something. So they're not going to know if there's a flaw. Um, like that. So, you know, I don't expect. Just know that if you get Lyra Rembrandts and you do have an issue with the barrel or the lead coming out or something, they're pretty good. Um, maybe just keep on them a little bit better than I did. Um, I did not keep on them because I'm terrible about stuff like that. But, you know. So, I'm, I was thinking the other day, I was like, I've got a lot of sets of pencils, right? But I don't always use them all. And I was thinking about, well, which one don't I use? Which ones do I just not care to reach for? Um, and right off the bat is the Derwent Artists. I dislike those pencils very much. They're very hard. I'm sure on like good paper they're all right. And if you're a colored pencil artist, maybe you think they rock your pants off, but they don't do anything for me. Um, and they don't work in 90% of the paper or the paper I use, which is in coloring books. So, and you know, you're not going to get coloring books that have colored pencil quality paper so which seems weird you know it's been a fad for a while you'd think they would up their game but nope um so you know I don't reach for those and then the other pencil is the pro colors sorry I needed to drink I don't reach for the Derwent Pro colors very often. They work. I can use them. And they have limited application, whereas with the artists, they have almost no application. They have limited application. I like them. I want to use them. I just have very limited uh, coloring books I can use them in. Uh, the other set of pencils is the Derwent watercolor. They just don't have the color output and now I've got the Albrecht Dürer's. Um, I see no point in having those watercolor pencils anymore. So I may be going to one of the selling, uh, the pencil selling or eBay. See, here's my problem. I can't go really to eBay because I don't have any boxes for them anymore. Any of the tins. They're, they're literally just in my pencil cases. I threw the tins away. I don't have time to keep the tens. So, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll just give them away. I'll see when my nephew comes, if there's anything he wants. Because my sister said he's been coloring lately, so. Maybe I'll see if he wants anything. So I gave my daughters the Color Soft, and I gave them the 
um, Crayola super tips and I gave them uh, the Black Widow sets. So they've got those. Oh, and the Prisma Scholars. So they've got those. Um, and they wouldn't use, they don't use any of those enough to warrant giving them the other ones. Um, so the other, the other pencil set that I don't use often or that I, that I don't necessarily really like is the Blick. I thought I would really like the Blicks. I've, I've heard them being, um, compared to Koei Noors. I was like, yeah, you know, the only reason I don't like the Koei Noors is there's no color name. It's all numbers. And I kind of dislike that. That's more of a aesthetic thing for me. The pencils are very fine. I, they're very good pencils, but not having a pen, not having a color name really bugs me. Um, so they don't get used very much. I feel very bad about that. So I was like, oh, you know, if the Blick pencils are supposed to be kind of like the Koei Noors, same type of lead, that same type of Uh, feel when you put it down and the color output and you know, blendability and all that fun stuff. I was like, well, then that'll be an excellent uh, replacement. And then you just get the Koei Norse, the girls or something. And um, no, no, they're not. I mean, I can I can understand where they feel the same. But beyond that basic feel, no, not even a little bit. Um, the color output's totally different. The way they blend is totally different. Um, the blicks are, they're just not my cup of tea and I feel kind of bad. I thought I would really, really like them and then I don't. Digging the Artezas. I'm, I'm even starting to like the Prismas more, um, slowly. Don't, don't go holding your breath for some Prismas, but. Oh, I think that's the purples done. Oh, I think it is. There we go. There's all the purple flowers done. Super. Sorry. Here. Nope, that's not going to help any. Maybe. Go over that way a little bit. There you go. There's the, the purple flowers done. I'm going to pause this video and I'll catch you in two seconds. All right, I didn't bungle or anything. I'm pretty, pretty happy. So I finished. Oh, I didn't quite finish with that last night. They put in the dotties. So I've got the Posca uh, 0.7, the PC 1MR. I just gonna shake it up. I don't know if you can tell, but there's little white dots. Let me. Zoomy in here. Get that corner. There we go. Make sure it's working. It's working. And I'm just going to go in and random dots. There are some on there, so you can follow those, or you can do them how you want. It's 
been a busy morning. It's already after lunch. Been getting the oldest ready to go to camp. Gonna miss her. So just dots in the darkest part. Try not to make them uniform. It's very hard to not Do a true random. Okay. Nope, I missed some. There we go. So that's those done except for the centers. I'm actually going to, because this is wet and I'm going to be working all the way up here, I'm going to flip the book around. Let's see, let's put these away. Pencils, flip my book, and sharpen. So, the colors I'm using for these flowers are going to be raspberry, the PC uh, PC one zero three zero. Make sure that's sharp. The other one's going to be clay rose, PC one zero one seven. Pulling in the peach, the PC 939. Cream, uh, PC 194. And uh, the light peach, PC 927. So for the outside, zoom in. For the outside pieces, I've been using the the raspberry. And then the clay rose. And then the peach. And that's usually about it. Sometimes I'll go into the light peach. Um, so let's see. I am. I am. Making sure I'm in camera. So that was raspberry clay rose. And then peach. And a little bit back with the raspberry just to darken that up. So if you notice here I've put the highlights here and the darkest on the other side, so I'm gonna keep that keep that up. I'm gonna take the raspberry on the outside here. Cat's getting into something. That's just what she does. Come on, 
around in there and into the clay rows. And if you notice, it kind of made a little line right there. I'll try to mimic that over here. into the peach. Just so tiny, my poor little tiny light peach. So itty bitty. I'll kind of go over everything again just to darken and blend. Clay rose. And this is a very pretty combo. Oh, I had to go do something. Clay rose. Guys, is that you or the cat? I think that's the children. Okay. Just checking. And then light peach. I need to find if I have another light peach. I might have to go to Jerry's and get one. I should have got one while I was there last. That's all right. If I have to make a Jerry's trip, well then darn, I have to make a Jerry's trip. Shucks. So for the uh, the flower bit here, I'm actually not using the two darkest colors. So I'm just going to use the peach into the shadowy areas. And light peach. Then cream. And that's really, I'm going to take the peach and just kind of darken up just a little bit some of these shadowy places. It's 
little difficult. It's a very light color, so. Then I'm going to go in with. Yeah, so, with my PC 1MR. Cat got new toys. I'm just going to outline all of this. So I'm going to do the little highlights right here. I'll do that. And that's that. And we'll move on to the next one. And just put it on repeat. Well, then, wasn't there an article? Two fans have ran onto the field. Wasn't there a, the protesters? Oh, they're protesters. What are they protesting? I have no idea. Are they protesting FIFA? I don't know. I don't know if they're going to show it or not. Hmm. Well, they Wasn't that one guy, uh, you were in the car with me when uh, we were listening to NPR and the streaker. Yes. Was talking about he why he does. Every major sporting event. Yes. Well, yeah. Well, and he did it at the the one where um, the Super Bowl, where Janet Jackson had her snafu. Yeah. Sometimes in life, you just have to find your thing and stick with it. <laughs> if running naked in front of thousands of people that's is your, your thing. That's your bag, man. Right. That's what, you know, you know what, hon? This is what we should do. We should do the channel where I color and we just talk. <laughs> that clay rose is going to get kind of awkward where it's going so I'm trying to fit it in somewhere I don't know how well that's going to work we'll just go with it we'll pretend like it works I can do that I can pretend like it works peach Got new cat toys. I don't know if Zoe or the cat's having more fun playing with the cat toys. Welcome to life, y'all. I forgot what I was doing for a second, that's why my pencil paused. Light peach. I haven't really known what I'm doing for the last three days, so, you know. Is she getting all the rollerballs? Can't have enough raspberry. I just felt like it needed fixed. This one too.
get some nice it's a very nice color raspberry yep. is that you or the cat though pretty sure that's Zoe hmm She gonna watch the World Cup with you. Well, now the cat's got the ball. Did you get it? Is she doing magic tricks? She's doing one of her magic tricks. Which one is that? Is it in here or here? Mm. Zoe should come over here and tell her joke. Her not her uh her joke. She does have a good joke. You want her to tell your joke? No. No. That's okay. What does a car and an elephant have in common? They all have a chunk. <laughs> <laughs> she loves her joke. She tells it to everybody. Light peach. A little hint of black in here. Alright, so peach. So they have a window in the front, but no top. Uh-huh. And there's some soccer. They're gonna soar. Which one's the blue team? Uh, France. France. This is light peach. Oh! <laughs> the blue team. <laughs> and then cream. So what's the score now? Three one. Three one. Ooh. France may uh, win the World Cup. Dang. Have they ever won? I, I don't know anything about soccer. I think they have won the World Cup before. Yeah, they, they said that they beat Brazil back in like 98. Oh, okay. So, but it's, so it's been a while. It's been a little while, yeah. Good for France. Alright, so now we're back to the... That does sound like a big mess. That may actually pick up. So there's three down, three to go. Let's see. 
Got those coin tricks. She's a tricky girl. Tricky, tricky. She's back with the raspberry. Old McDonald had a farm. Okay, you can go see if they can play. Yeah, I'm going to get my flip-flops. Okay, that sounds good. Because everything else is packed. Okay, honey. So this is Clay Rose. I think I was supposed to have a package come today. Check the mail if you could, please. Thank you. Peach. Peach, 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 peach. And those seagulls from Finding Nemo. Mine, 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 mine. Well, come here. Bring them here. You got her, hun. And then light beach. Some black. Don't make. <laughs> oh, did I get? Excellent. I'm pretty sure this is my masking fluid. Or not masking Mommy, fluid. Oh, I'll have to wash it. I don't want moth door egg egg door. So that's all. Golden satin glazing. That's what um. Rebecca with the art spirits uses. Oh, is my mom calling? All right. Leave a little after. All right. I got a little time here before we gotta take the kiddo to camp. So this is the clay rose, peach, I guess France won the World Cup. Are they showing all the celebrations, hun? Or they're just showing the on-field stuff right now. No. I can only imagine what it's happening in Paris. Right. I bet Paris is pretty fun. Um... Did they ever tell who the streaker was or what they were no, doing? They didn't say anything about the guys that ran on the field. They weren't streakers. Oh. They were like wearing uniforms or something. Oh. So this is Peach. Light peach. Oh, I'm going to have to sneeze. <laughs> Cream. So right here is the little spider. I don't know what I'm going to do with it.
The Associated Press just let me know that France won. Go ahead and get our Posca. Let's start working on that. I'm actually going to take the Posca and do the spider's web part. I don't know why it was a black line. So, I don't know if you can see right here next to these little pistols is some kind of not painted area i'm gonna take my no i'm not taking that one Mom, can have a pencil? here's a pencil sweetie thank you what are you drawing a picture. cool i'm gonna take my palette and then the lunar blue right here I'm going to go in, just fix it a little bit. Are there any other spots? I think that's good. Didn't miss a whole lot. Did not miss a whole lot, so that's pretty good. There we go. All right, just got two more to go. This one looks like it's going the opposite way, so I'm just gonna kind of do it like this. Cause I've I've been having see it on that side, but now the shiny parts over here, so I'm just gonna do that. I'm sorry, adapt. Just taking that raspberry. And now the clay rose. Try to finish these up on this video and then I'll, I'll close it out. And for those that are looking forward to the giveaway, since I will not be streaming, I will have to do it. Yes, pumpkin. Nothing. No, you're just hanging. Mm -hmm. I'll have to do it um, on a recording, but I will post it on Thursday. Peach. I'm really excited to see who wins. It's a really pretty book. Can't wait to see what everybody does with it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It does help me. Um, links down below are for Amazon affiliate. 
Um, so I do earn a very, very tiny commission on any sales through those links. So if you could use those as much as possible, I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me um, buy new things to share and learn on the channel. Um, let's see what else. There's also links down below to the Facebook page if you want to join us over there. Um, feel free. Whip. Um, whips and finished pictures and all sorts of fun stuff. So if you want to go ahead and do that. Um, I do plan on doing a sort of um, challenge. So um, kind of like a color along, but instead of a color along of a certain page, I'm, I'm challenging you to learn a new technique or to learn a new medium or just something that you haven't tried before that you've really been wanting to, but you've put off. Um, mine is actually going to be those distress inks. Really want to learn how to use those. Um, so that is what my challenge will be for um, that month whenever I can do it. It was going to be this month. However, it has been a super duper hectic month. So it'll have, probably have to be in August. Um, so I will have details of all of that up on my Facebook page. Um, if you are into reading, I also have a reading group. Um, the link is down below as well. Currently we are reading um, The President is Missing by James Patterson and... Uh, Bill Clinton. I have not even started yet. Just shame on me, but Peach. My excuse is that I started reading Neverwhere and I can't read more than one book at a time. So I have to finish Neverwhere and I'm about 70% done. So as soon as I finish Neverwhere, I will start reading The President is Missing. That was peach. This is light peach. I am kind of excited for that book though. And cream. My youngest has a soccer camp every day next week from 9 to 11. So I'm hoping I can finish Neverwhere and start on or get a good chunk of The President is Missing too. So, we'll see. Go back in with that peach a little bit. There we go. Alright. So, I noticed I missed highlighting right there. So, I'll go in and do that. Those kids are having fun. So excited to be almost done with this picture. It's probably one of the faster pictures I've done. Painting that background really helped. Really good. Alright, so this one's back to normal. So back to the raspberry. And 
clay rose. And peach. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I know I'm a little quiet. I'm now finding out since doing live streams to be very difficult to talk to myself. Light peach. I'm so used to having people chatting with me on live streams that doing these color and chats now it's actually a little bit lonely. Good luck. She's gonna try to color something else. Oh, I meant to grab the black. Oh. Here we go. Just for a little extra shadow. Get everything. Now we go clay rose again. I like raspberry and clay rose together, they look really cute. And peach. being pedantic. And peach. <laughs> and pe light peach. Kaylee, you know what she's trying to say. You guys can go to your rooms. I do that too. And then this cream for this nice yellow tone. I really love these colors. All right. Turn this around and zoom out. So this is what we have so far and I will be back and we will finish up the um, little stamen and all of the little inside stuff. We'll finish up the spider web and the gems and the spider and the little background stuff. So we will finish that all up 
in the next video. Until then, I will see you guys later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.